Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara and today we're gonna do a pick a card, tarot, and oracle reading and this time you're gonna ask your own question and you're gonna get an answer. I saw a thing the other day that was like the universe has three answers for you. Yes, not right now, and there's something better. And I thought that was such a beautiful way of putting things and so I want to do another reading where you can ask your own question and get one of those answers like yes, there's something better, not right now. This is my cat Luna, everyone. <laughs> um, so let's dive into it. What I want you to do is ask your question out loud or in your head, and once you've done so, take a look at all five groups on screen, all five roses on screen, and select whichever one you feel most drawn to. We have group number one with this pinkish rose, group number two with this white rose, group number three with this reddish pinkish rose. <laughs> I, I'm now realizing that there's not much to help us discern these roses from each other. We have group number four with another reddish pinkish rose <laughs> and group number five with another white rose that's sort of wilting a little bit. Okay, once you've selected your group, you can either watch through or you can skip ahead to your reading using the timestamps. If you're asking multiple questions, I would highly recommend, Luna, please don't eat the rose. I would highly recommend asking one question, pausing, selecting your group, maybe writing that group down so you remember, and then asking your other question, pausing, picking your group, etc. Like I wouldn't get into viewing one of the readings. Um, <laughs> before you've asked all your questions, okay? And keep in mind, guys, this is a general pick a card reading for the collective for a big group of people. So if not everything resonates, then that message might not be for you, okay? Uh, if you need a personal reading, if you want to get really specific and have me only focus on your energy and your energy alone, I do offer personal readings uh, on my website, spiritpsychic.org. The link to that is always in the description box, okay? Let's dive into it now before Luna eats all these roses. Okay, group number one, welcome. Let's get an answer for your question. The rune Dagaz came out for you, and this is incredible. This is the rune of the sun, and this shows an exhilarating surge of energy coming towards whatever topic that you're asking about, whatever your question is, there's gonna be like a big surge of positive energy, a big change, a big momentum, a big leap coming forward for this. So this will be really, really good. This is a great omen, guys. Dagaz, oh my gosh, the great omen for whatever it is that you're asking about. We have listen to your intuition. We have wait, beautiful. And we have reconsider, okay. So to me, this is saying um, that it's not the right time, okay? But however, things are evolving in the perfect time. Try to release your attachment to when positive things will unfold in the situation that you're asking about, is what I would say. There are elements of what you're asking about that need to be reconsidered or that need to be integrated, okay? There could be ideas in your mind that you need to take on. There could be changes in your mind that you need to make and developments that will take place here that will slightly alter and shift the vibration of that which you're asking about and lead it towards this Dagoz sun energy with a positive outcome, okay? So right now, you are not seeing the results that you want because it's not the right time. You're not at the right vibration. However, I don't want you to get frustrated over this. There's no reason to get frustrated over this because we see a positive surge of energy in the near future. What you need to do right now is to really, really listen to your intuition. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly what your intuition is. The ideas that keep repeating in your mind over and over and over again, like I should do this, this is something I should do, that is your intuition guiding you towards this Dagaz sunlight, positive outcome energy. We should do this. I should do this. Those are the things you need to start taking action on. Without the action, you're not going to see the result. Okay? So make sure you're listening to that intuition, taking the aligned actions that you need in order to bring this manifestation forward. The ma what you want to manifest from this forward. Okay? There may be elements of what you want 
that aren't perfectly aligned with you is what I'm seeing. Okay, so for example, let's just say you're asking about someone in particular, like, are we going to end up together? Your intuition is already telling you certain things that you needed to do. Maybe it is a conversation that you need to have with them. Maybe it is, you know, you spending more time with your friends, going to the gym, whatever. Weirdly enough, those things are going to get you the answers that you need. And there could be developments in the near future, very positive developments in the near future, that will have you being led towards something that is really, really aligned for you. Okay, if this is you asking about a goal, will I achieve some sort of goal? I'm seeing here that your intuition is telling you like you need to do this and that and this and that and this and that. A certain list of things that you need to do and take action on. And once you start doing those things, you're going to start seeing more results. I'm also seeing a shift in your goal as well. Okay, because there may be unsustainable parts of it. I don't know why I'm seeing like unsustainability in whatever you're asking about. Like there are certain elements of what you're asking about that are unsustainable. For example, if you have your own business or career, um, there could be a really high workload right now that is unsustainable. So you may actually remove certain responsibilities from your role or from what you're doing and focus more on the creatively fulfilling parts of what you're doing. Okay. If this is a relationship, there could be certain elements of this relationship that are unsustainable that like you can't keep doing forever. And through taking action with your intuition, and, and the ideas that come into your mind, it will lead you down the best path possible. So this is a mixture type of answer. It's like a mixture between not right now and there's something better. Like this situation is going to evolve and change as you keep listening to your intuition. And it's going to turn into something much bigger and better than you even anticipated for yourself. And, and that's what is going to lead you to success. I hope that makes sense. Okay. We have clean it up coming out. This is some advice for you in what you're asking about. And obviously this talks about, you know, getting rid of certain dust, you know, letting uh, things that aren't working uh, exit your life at this time. I'm going to read this from the booklet for you to get deeper meanings here. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? Too much work? Overwhelmed? See, that's what we're saying. We picked up on that earlier. There are elements of this that are unsustainable. Being overworked, being too bogged down by deep emotional issues that keep coming up in a certain relationship or this in, in this situation. Time to clean house. Every item out of place matters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds to the unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. See, this is another one of those aligned actions that are going to come into play that will get this situation evolving. You need to clean house here. You need to... And you know what? I want to say, if any of you are asking about a relationship that really bogs you down emotionally, reconsider that relationship because there could be something very, very better for you moving forward or reconsider certain aspects of that relationship at the very least. You know, because with Dagos, this is a promise that there's going to be a really high outcome for you. Really amazing outcome, even better than what you have anticipated right now. You just need to start taking, 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 taking action on those ideas that are in your head. Your intuition is already loud and clear, guys. And they're coming, that intuition is coming through in the form of your ideas, okay? Let's see what this tarot has to say. We have the two of swords. Yeah, protecting one's heart. This show's not necessarily taking any actions forward. Some of you may be waiting for this situation to evolve, but that's not necessarily the answer here. The answer here is to take aligned action. We have the queen of coins, knowing your worth putting in good effort, good work towards those ideas that you have. <laughs> I, I, if I had a dollar for every time I used the word ideas in this reading, we would have a couple of dollars, you know? <laughs> Beautiful. We have the six of swords. Yeah, moving on to calmer waters, calmer shores. This is reassurance again. Like, if, if there's anything, I want you to look at the situation you're asking about. 
what elements of this situation bothers you emotionally? Like that, that you just don't like doing. It feels like a chore. It feels like a task to do them. You know, those are the things that are bogging you down. And I know it may be hard for you to see this right now, but those are the things that may actually be preventing you from seeing the successful outcome. You know, so don't tolerate it. Don't put up with it. If there's something you don't like doing, let it go. Release it. And for some of you, if this is like work or business related, this may be difficult for you to believe because, you know, the number one thing that may be stressing you out and bogging you down about your work responsibilities, you may be thinking, but if I stop doing that, I'm not going to make any money. And you'd be shocked at how quickly the universe can move on your behalf once you listen to your intuition. I'll give you a personal example of this. For like the first couple of years of my business, I offered written readings. So people would come to me, ask their questions, etc. I would write it out like an essay. And this worked for me for a little bit, but after a while, like I was just so exhausted. I was writing basically like six to 12 essays a day. Imagine doing that. I was so exhausted and drained. And the thought of doing readings really stressed me out so much that I kept returning them late. You know, I had like a three day turnaround time and I would keep saying, oh, I'm sorry, it's late, it's late, it's late because I, it was stressing me out so much to do them. And one day I was shamanic journeying. I was talking to my spirit guides and they told me like, get rid of all of them. Stop doing that. And this was really difficult for me at the time because I, I had already put up listings on my website and Etsy for video readings and at twice the price that I was offering the written readings, which in my mind just wasn't fair anyways, because the written readings took so much more time, energy, effort. But I feel like the video readings offered more value. And I'm like, I can't do that. I can't take that leap of faith because like 90% of my sales still comes from the written readings. That's where all of my current customers are. And my spirit guides were like, it's fine. It'll be more than fine. You'll make more money. So I did it. I, I took that leap of faith. And it really did feel like a leap of faith because I could not see how it would work out. And I stopped offering written readings. I only offered video readings. And out of the blue, like, I got a bunch of new subscribers on my second channel, Spirit Psychic Tarot. And a lot of them turned into customers. A lot of them bought the video readings. And I was like, wow, it actually, it, it worked out perfectly. So trust your intuition, okay? And trust that when you take these leaps of faith and you let go of the people, the circumstances that just weigh you down and stress you out, <laughs> the universe is going to catch you on the other side and lift you up to even higher heights than before. Okay, so don't be afraid to let go of any person that you just have a really negative relationship with or they just make you feel bad about yourself. Don't be afraid to let go of any element of what you're trying to do here that, you, that just stresses you out to even think about. Don't be afraid to move to calmer shores, to more relaxed energies. Okay, it's time to clean house. It's time to let go of those things that really, really stress you out. We have the five of coins coming out in reverse. So yeah, there's another element here of feeling lack energy, lack mentality, like it's not going to be enough or I'm never going to find this again. Or I can't stop doing this thing that I don't like doing because fill in the blank, so-and-so will happen. And I feel like spirit is challenging that belief within you right now challenging your trust, your faith, and asking you to, to reconsider, to let go. Okay, let go of that lack of mindset as well. And I, I've said this a million times, but I'm going to say it again because I feel like you need to hear it. So many readers and spiritual gurus talk about being in the flow of abundance, but they never describe what that is and what that looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm going to describe that for you right now because you need to do this. Even if you're stressed out because you feel like there's a lack of love in your life, a lack of money in your life, a lack of fill in the blank, whatever it may be, you always have an abundance somewhere, somewhere in your life. And right now you guys have an abundance of ideas in your mind of things that you should do or that you want to do. Okay. That's where your abundance is. You know, I don't care if you have a lack of business, a lack of sales, a lack of money, a lack of love, a lack of trust, whatever it may be. Like we're not focusing on that lack. 
Okay, focus on what you do have. And what you have right now that I can tell at least right off the bat is a, a big amount of ideas in your brain. And if you focus on those ideas and taking action on them, they will lead you to more and more abundance. That is how you get into the flow of abundance. You, fo- you focus on what you do have and not on what you don't have. For the longest time, I'm going to tell you another story. For the longest time, I didn't have that much money. I was living in deep, deep poverty. And I was focused so much on my lack and how do I fix this lack and, and just waiting to get out of it that I wasn't focusing on what I did have. What I had at the time was also ideas, just like you. But I also had an abundance of books. I had an abundance of blank canvases and paper and art materials. I had an abundance of travel opportunities, weirdly enough plants, et cetera. And once I shifted my focus towards the things that I did have and I took action on those things, that is exactly what got me out of that poverty. Okay, so definitely, definitely focus on what you do have, not on what you don't have. That's what that means. And I know that's such a buzz phrase, but like actionably do that. Mm. So yeah, the answer to your question is that there are certain elements of what you want that will be better. The universe is going to give you better than what you necessarily want right now. And then additionally, there is a a short waiting period, but it's not like a waiting period where it's like, oh, the universe will decide when it wants to bring this through. No, you decide based off of how quickly and effectively you take action on your intuition and the ideas you have. Okay. I hope this answered your question. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below. Subscribe if you've not already. Personal readings are on spiritpsychic.org. Bye-bye. Hello, group number two, and welcome. Let's get your answer. So the rune that came out for you is called Gabo, and this is the rune of generosity. And immediately I was flooded with images of affection and someone wanting to give you some sort of gift, some sort of present, whether this is someone in particular Uh, that you may be asking about who has affections for you, or this could even be the universe itself giving you amazing gifts that you will use to move forward in life, you know, to unfold and evolve, okay? So it is a rune of generosity. It's also asking you to make sure that you're you're just being, you're you're keeping an eye on how generous you are with other people and making sure you're not overdoing it yourself, okay? We have unlikely coming out. Unlikely with what you're asking about forgiveness and no need to worry. Hmm. I don't know why. If any of you are asking about a person in particular, um, especially if it's like romantic or anything, I feel like this is saying, you know, this is unlikely to unfold into something deep and serious, but I feel like there is a lot of goodwill here that this person has towards you. And if this is someone you have a long history with, there could be um, forgiveness for, you know, whatever happened in the past. So very interesting. If any of you, I hope you're not asking this. If any of you are asking if you're going to get back together with an ex or someone from your past, the answer is probably not. Okay, and maybe that's for the best, you know. Um, However, there will be levels of forgiveness and both of you releasing any ill will or or negative feelings that you may have towards each other, which is very beautiful. So answer to your question, you know, the, the possible answers we talked about was yes, not right now, or there's something better. And I'm feeling like there is something better here for you. Um... However, whatever you're asking about, like the people involved, the environment, they have goodwill towards you. You know, it's just sometimes we outgrow certain environments or people and that's fine. And we can even stay in contact with those environments and people and we can, you know, give them our love and they could give their love to us. But, you know, they're not necessarily the end all be all of of us, you know, there, there's more for us out there. There's better for us out there. And I'm seeing a sort of energy where it's like you in a certain environment or you in a certain person, you're at different levels of where you're at, like mentally and emotionally and what you're offering. And I feel in particular that the other person may just now be starting to have, or the other environment may just now be starting to have like a spiritual awakening or 
some sort of realizations going on in their life, um, emotional growth, whatever. Uh, like they're just now making changes to evolve and be with the times. However, you've already been there. You know, you've already done that. Like you're, you're ready for much, much more. You know, you're just at different timelines, different speeds is what we're, we're seeing. And I just got to say, like, it's never a good thing to connect yourself with an environment or person who is constantly going to be several steps behind your evolution. If that makes sense. It, It has nothing to do with age. It is like you just you don't want to constantly be hooking up with and connected to someone or something that is always. And I I mean this in the nicest way possible, like less evolved than you. I mean that in the nicest way possible. Like if you've already done the emotional work, if you've already developed the skills that the person or environment you're asking about cannot really appreciate fully or they're like, like you're a master at something and they're just a beginner at something, but it's something important like emotions or relationships or spiritual understanding. I don't think you'll ever really find fulfillment staying with that person because they're, you're helping them grow tremendously, of course, but what are they offering you in return? Now, this doesn't mean you hate the person. This doesn't mean they're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. This is a situation where you can still love them from a distance, you know, having some boundaries here, having some boundaries here. Okay. We have regeneration coming out. Yeah, a brand new start coming from the ashes is what this seems like. I I wouldn't be shocked if a lot of you asked asked about, um, like, should I leave this job, for example? And the answer is yes, there is something better for you. Or... If you're asking about an ex or something you've already left, I think the answer is, you know, don't get back together. (laughs) You can be friends, sure. And a beautiful new friendship can emerge from this. But don't go back to the level of involvement that you once were. That's what I'm seeing. Because, like I said, there are always going to be several steps behind you, (laughs) evolution-wise. All right. Second chances are available to you right now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived. See, that's specifically, specifically what's going on here. It's not a brand new opportunity, brand new person, whatever that I'm seeing. It is, there is a chance for you to reconnect with an old opportunity, like an, a person you have history with or a job you used to work at or even like a hobby or group you used to be a part of. It's now revived in a more authentic and stronger form. Yeah, I do see that. I do see there was some healing that happened here, some growing that happened here on the other person or environments or clubs, whatever side of things. You know, they're, they're starting to become more awake and less likely to be as immature or unevolved as they were in the past is what I'm seeing. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. And look, that phrase alone, being replaced by something better, that confirms the answer we picked up on, that there's something better than what you're asking about. Okay. This rebirth is assured, stepping into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. I love that. Yeah. You know, sometimes you may find that certain people or things that we were once like that were once a massive part of our identity we have a separation from that we you know grow and evolve outside of each other and then when you come back you realize like you know what we make much better friends than anything else or you know what we we're really great in each other's lives but not to the high degree that we were previously you know what I mean I'm seeing that sort of energy here And if this is a job, for example, it's like, okay, maybe you stay in touch with the people from that job and that's great, but like you don't want to work the job or maybe you go in to consult or work like once a week, but you're not there every single day. You know what I mean? It's, it's those sort of boundaries where it's like, I see you are growing and evolving and I love that about you. I don't want to be there every single step of the way. (laughs) However, I will check in with you on a friendly more casual basis because I still love you 
And yeah, I don't know. I'm seeing that sort of message here. And it's very light. It's very beautiful. Okay, I feel like the darkness of the past is evaporating. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah. And to me, this shows a bit of the past where it was really up and down, really rocky, really emotional with whatever you're asking about. We have the Six of Coins in reverse. Wow, two sixes. That, this is another sign. The number six in general, but especially with the Six of Coins, uh, really talks about the give and take. Okay, just like Gabo, exactly. You know, this situation you're asking about, you may have given a lot to it in the past, like way more than you were receiving back. And again, it's not that the, the other party wasn't giving to you. It was just they couldn't meet you at your level, okay? It's a good person, good environment, good group, whatever it is. It, it's good. It is just not at your level, and it cannot reciprocate at your level. And that's fine. You know, that's fine. That's where boundaries come in, where you have to stop giving so, so, so much without receiving anything in return and draining yourself in the process. You know, we have the 10 of coins. Beautiful, beautiful, happy endings here. Yeah, this is the whole, the whole thing here, guys. I think a lot of you, if you're asking about a relationship, if you're asking about love, I feel like, um, you may be remaining friends with like exes and things like that, but you're, you're holding out for the, the whole thing. You know, you don't want the six of coins. You want the 10 of coins. Like this is long-term commitment. This is stability. This is a whole package. You know, that's what you're going to give your day to day energies towards the whole package, you know, a, a, your dream job that has great benefits, great, you know, breaks <laughs> throughout the day. It's creatively fulfilling. That's what you're going to give all your energy and time and attention towards. And the things that weren't able, or the people that weren't able to meet you where you're at in the past, I don't necessarily see that you're cutting them off. I don't necessarily see that there's bad vibes there. And you can proceed forward with them with like a greater amount of how do I even explain this? Like a greater amount of distance, but a distance is the wrong word. Like you're not holding it as closely to you as you were in the past. Like there's less expectations. We have justice coming out in reverse. Yeah, again, this talks about that message of someone cannot give as much as you can give, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to cut them off. That doesn't necessarily mean that you don't want them in your life. It's just, okay, I, I can love you from a distance. I can... We can still stay in contact, but not be as close. You know, that's what I'm seeing here. Very beautiful. And in the meantime, to replace that closeness that you had with this, you're filling that, that time up with 10 of pentacles energy. You know, working on your goals, your dreams, the people that can meet you at your level. Like, that's where the bulk of your energy is going. But you can still keep this person or this environment in your mind and heart, in, in rotation, you know, in your, as a, as a piece of your life. It's just a smaller piece of your life. I hope that makes sense. Thank you for joining me. I, if you want to comment how this resonated, like comment what you asked and your story down below, I would love to read that. I would be so fascinated. Like this video and subscribe if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always on my website, spiritpsychic.org. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Hello, group member three, and welcome. Let's dive into your answers. The rune that came out for you is called Manas, and it is coming out in reverse. This is the rune of mankind. When it comes out in reverse like this, it kind of shows sometimes that an enemy is nearby or that you need to keep your defenses up, and it can hint that... Perhaps there is a fear of confrontation here or a fear of speaking what's on your mind or defending yourself, but you need to start preparing. Whatever it is that you're asking about, you need to start preparing. You need to take better care of, of defense. Okay, so even if it's like a house, you know, and it's like get good locks. Get a camera system if that's what makes you feel safe. If it is a relationship and you're sensing that someone close to your partner may be really, really jealous or secretly not liking you or even in your friend group or even in 
your career, you know, this is confirmation. If any of you ask, like, does this person like me? Or do they secretly hate me? The answer, I think, is a very strong, like, uh, yeah, they, uh, the Manas in Reverse shows people who are jealous around you. So whatever situation you're asking about, it, it, that's not it as well. Like, if that has nothing to do with your question, don't, you know, take this information because it's not for you. But uh, with all other questions, this could even be a need to really be better prepared. Okay, so make sure you have a good emergency savings fund. Make sure that your defenses are up where they need to be up. You know, you're, when you leave your house during the day, you're locking your doors. You are staying to safe neighborhoods, safe people, safe groups, whatever. If your intuition is saying that something is off, you have to listen to that intuition. Man, it makes me so sad, so unbelievably sad when people don't listen to their intuition because it's like, don't wait for your intuition to prove itself. If, if something within your gut is saying this doesn't feel right, this doesn't feel safe, or like you just have a feeling about someone, don't wait for it to prove itself to you. You know, trust that gut feeling as fact, okay? That is how you become psychic. Just trusting that gut feeling that everyone has. Trusting as fact. So if you feel like, like let's just say you start dating someone and they have like a girl best friend or guy best friend, whatever. And they're like, oh my gosh, we're just friends. Like it's great, blah, blah, blah. But you just have this gut feeling that that quote unquote friend of theirs is mad that you're around, jealous that you're around. You need to trust that as fact. Okay, because it is, it is fact. Those feelings you get about something shysty going on within a, a company, a business, it's fact. You know, your intuition is on point. We have a big no answer with an exclamation point. I feel a resistance that spirit has here. Like it's trying to warn you of something is what I'm seeing. We have yes with an exclamation point. This is confusing. We have look for a sign. Okay, no and yes. <laughs> no and yes. What do we take of that? What do we make of that? I feel like the answer to most people's questions here is a yes, a resounding yes. However, it depends on how you worded it is what I'm seeing. Like, some of you may have, for example, said, does so-and-so hate me? But others of you may have worded it like, does so-and-so actually like me? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's hard to get into the vernacular here, but whatever the answer is, it will be one where... Actually, you know what? Let's just get more information. <laughs> Let's just get more information. We have fork in the road. Fork in the road, which is very funny because we have a yes and a no answer here. So it's like, hmm, is it a yes? Is it a no? Let's see. I'm telling you guys, you really have to listen to your gut on this one. Every choice has a consequence. You've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the one well-worn by others who may have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone. You know what I'm seeing here? I want to pause. A lot of you guys may have asked, should I do fill in the blank? Should I do this or should I do that? And there is no answer I can give you for that. That is something that is your decision alone. Yeah. But all I can say here with manas coming out is prepare no matter what your decision is prepare no matter what your decision is okay have some self-protection in place regardless it doesn't matter where you're at in life it's always a good idea to have extra money saved up for example it's always a good idea to trust your gut when it comes to people it's always a good idea like even if you live in the safest neighborhood to lock your doors when you leave the house you know what i mean things like that common sense self-protection everyone should have a certain level of self-protection, self-sufficiency, making sure that you're taken care of on your own. Mm. 
Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroad. Take heart, as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. I love that. I love that. And I feel like, you know, this is a very convoluted, complicated group because it does not matter what you do here. It really doesn't. Because no matter what you choose, you're going to get growth and fulfillment out of it. So, for example, let's just say somebody asked, you know, you're, you're getting this intuitive nudge that the person you're dating has an inappropriate relationship with one of their friends, okay? And you're asking, should I separate that with, from them? Here's the thing. If you decide not to separate from them and you ignore your intuition, that's a meaningful road because that will teach you the importance of listening to your intuition, okay? So if you, if you feel more guided to do that, then you need to go through that experience to learn why it's important to listen to your intuition. And if you choose the path of, yes, I'm going to listen to my intuition and, and leave that person, then you also have a meaningful experience because you are confirming your intuition, you're avoiding a bunch of drama, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't really matter which path you choose. If you ask, like, should I do this? Should I do that? It do that's not up for me to decide. What I can confirm here is there is an energy, a presence of you have to do what's best for you. No one is going to come save you, okay? No one is going to solve your problems for you. It is up to you. There's a massive message there. And you're encouraged to be very assertive when it comes to your own life. Okay? If any of you find yourself in a sort of victim mentality or like in a waiting around for the answer mentality, you're going to be waiting a long time. Okay? No one is going to magically solve your problem for you. We are all selfish people. We are all wrapped up in our own lives and our own things that are going on. And if you think that people care that much about you, and I don't mean this in a really negative way. I mean, like, how do I put this? I know people who really want to go to the gym and work out with me, but they refuse to go because they're afraid that people are going to stare at them. And I'm like, listen, nobody cares. Like, if, if people stare at you, it's because you're hot. Okay, I've been going to the gym for years. Do I stare at people? Yes. But I only stare at people when they have amazing butts or arms or something like that. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> suck it up. You're not that important in the best way possible. Like, people have their own lives and their own thoughts that they're lost in, okay? Like, they, they in the best way possible, don't care about you that much. So you have to... And... I, I know that sounds so harsh. I don't mean it in a harsh way. I hope you understand that. Like, of course, people do care about you. The people who care about you care about you. But you have to take on some more, like, independence and self-assured energy. Trusting your intuition. Protecting yourself. If you don't have that right now, I feel like you're going to make decisions that will teach you the importance of that, even if it's quote unquote a negative experience that teaches you the importance of that. So that's why it doesn't really matter what you do here. Because if you are a person who chooses the quote unquote negative decision, the negative road here, you're the type of person who needs that lesson anyways, you know? And if you're the person who has the strength and insight to avoid and, and dodge these bullets, whatever they may be, then you're good, you know? Like, it does not matter what you choose. And I'm going to tell you another personal story here. For the longest time, I had, like, I, I dated this guy. We were in a relationship for two years, and then we were in a weird situation, friendship for, like, another year on top of that. And I just had such a hard time letting him go. Like, I, I knew that he wasn't, he's not a bad person, but he just doesn't make me feel good. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't really offer much to my life. He doesn't make me feel like he's a good friend, you know? He, he's a pretty crappy friend. Not because he does anything evil, not because he's malicious or anything like that. It's just he does not really offer value in my life. And I knew for a long time that I probably should let him go. And everyone around me was like, there's no good that comes from him. No good that comes from being connected with him. He's just wasting your time. 
And I feel like I had to be in that connection for three years until I turned into the person who was ready to let go. Because in those three years, I developed quite a bit of self-assurance and confidence and less of a tolerant attitude towards people's crappy behavior. You know, I I feel like a, a good amount of characteristics within myself had to unfold before I turned into somebody who could let go. You know what I mean? So it's like, I I don't feel like this reading is going to change anyone's opinion. I feel like your mind is low key already made up on what you're going to do here. And like I said, no matter what you choose, it will lead to your growth and evolution. You know, I can sit here until I'm blue in the face and tell you that someone isn't good for you or something isn't the best path for you but you're not going to listen to me unless you know that for yourself, you know? So let's see what else wants to come out. But yeah, this, this card is very important. Look for the signs, look for a sign. There's signs all around you. If you're asking about a person, look at their behavior towards other people. Look at their behavior towards you. Look at all the friendships and relationships in their life. Look at the people surrounded by them. These are all signs. Okay, all signs telling you exactly who this person is and what they have to offer. We have the two of coins coming out in reverse. A little bit of an imbalance here. Also weighing your options, not knowing which one to take. We have the king of swords. Stern energy, stern decisions here. Yeah, cutthroat energy is what is needed for a lot of you. Assertion being bold and speaking your mind, telling people exactly what's going on, exactly the problems you're faced with right now. Communication is very important at this time. And with manas coming out in reverse, I fear that a lot of you may fear that con- confrontation. And I want to ask you why. Why do you fear the confrontation? Why do you fear speaking your mind? If it's because the person on the receiving end of what you're saying starts getting defensive, they're not listening to what you're saying, blah, blah, blah. These are all the signs, okay, that you need to know about that person. And that's a core foundational trait that you need in healthy relationships, by the way. If you can't resolve conflict with somebody, you can't have a healthy friendship or relationship with them, period, point blank, period. You cannot because all of the issues that you have, all of the concerns you have, they are going to stay. They are going to simmer. They are going to boil over time and time again. And it'll even start a repetitive process where like maybe once every two weeks you have a fight with this person about the same thing over and over and over again. And they may point the finger at you and accuse you. Why can't you just let this go? Like we already resolved this. No, we never resolved it. And that's why it keeps coming up because you lack the foundational trait of being able to listen to me with respect and work with me and resolve this conflict. I don't know why I'm going off on this tangent. Maybe some of you are actually dealing with that. I don't know. (laughs) We have the page of wands coming out in reverse. Yeah, to me, this is just a little bit of immaturity. Jealousy. There could be a jealous energy around you. And you'll already know who this is if this is the case. If you're like, hmm, I don't know who's jealous, then this probably isn't your message. But you you already know this. You already will know this. High priestess in reverse. Yes. Guys, listen to your intuition. Mm, The high priestess, when she comes out in reverse, it's like you already know what to do, but you're not listening to what your intuition is saying. You know, all of the red flags are there. All of the signs are there pointing you in the right direction. A million signs. All of your friends and family telling you the same thing. All of these behaviors telling you the same thing. Everything telling you the same thing. Signs and synchronicities from the universe telling you the same thing. But you know what? If your ego does not want to listen to that, you're not going to listen to it. Okay, and that's why I'm saying, again, it doesn't matter what you choose because either way is correct. Because if you choose the crappier path, it's because you are not somebody who was strong enough at the time to listen to your intuition. Okay, if you choose the crappier path, it is because something within you was stronger than your intuition. Your need for, I don't know, to resolve some sort of internal conflict or to figure this out or whatever was stronger than your intuition. Okay, and and that path will lead you to the same place again. It'll lead you back to the starting point, back to square one. So it doesn't matter. And in the journey of of that, you'll learn how important it is to listen to your intuition. 
and you'll get whatever emotional lesson you needed out of that. Okay, listen to your intuition, guys. The signs are all around you. Thank you so much for joining me. This was a really, like, don't come at me in the comments because I didn't give you a clear answer because we have yes, we have no. I feel like a lot of you, and with Fork in the Road, we can't give you a clear yes or no or there's something better or whatever because you're at the precipice of a decision yourself and this is a decision that you need to make with your free will you get what i'm saying so it's like we can't have an answer here because it really is up to you you're the one making the decision but hopefully the other information we gathered will help you to make the right decision all right thank you for joining me definitely if you feel comfortable let me know in the comments what you asked about and um, like this video, subscribe if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Hello, group number four, and welcome. Let's get the answer to your question. The rune that came out for you is called Feiyu. This is the first rune, and it is a wonderful one to receive because this really shows prosperity, wealth, happiness, abundance. Really, if you asked about anything related to business or money, or like your job, this is a really, really, really positive outcome, okay? And it also rules over wealth management, making very positive decisions when it comes to that. But even if your question didn't relate to wealth or finances or job, anything like that, I feel like what you're asking about, there will be a very prosperous answer, a very prosperous ending. But let's see what else comes out for you. We have asked for help from others. So the situation you're asking about, you can move forward in a positive direction with the help of others. There are people who may know a little bit more than you uh, when it comes to certain things, you know, certain situations. And that's why community is so important because everybody has their own set of expertise. Everybody has their own opinions. I'm, I'm getting the message, ask for a second opinion for some of you, like if it's medical related or... Um, any, really anything that needs an opinion, I would ask around. I would see what various perspectives thinks about what you're asking about, okay? But there will definitely be people who can help you manifest the highest outcome here. We have within the next few months, I don't know why I'm getting a strong yes answer, just automatically, let's see what this is, ask your angels. I'm getting a strong yes answer, especially if yes was the positive answer that you were looking for. And this will develop within the next few months. You will receive a ton of help, not just from the people around you, but also from your spirit guide. So it's very important for you to open up your heart, mind, and soul and ask your spirit guides like for, for any assistance that you need. Like if you need fresh ideas, if you need insight, if you need the strength to have difficult conversations or... If you need focus, just ask for it and, and you'll receive it, you know. I'm getting really good energy from this. I, I know we can't get too specific because I don't know your questions. But I just feel a positive energy. Like, things are coming together within the next few months. Things are developing in a beautiful way within the next few months. And I feel like you're going to meet some very important people who will give you the ideas or the answers that will like click into place for you and help you to create this positive outcome. I don't know why, I feel like a lot of you may have asked about, will I save this certain amount of money? Will my business take off? Will fill in the blank? Will this be successful? And I, I just feel this resounding yes. Like, yes, 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 it will. Just keep doing what you're doing and aligning yourself with prosperity, keep exposing yourself to different viewpoints, new ways of doing things, tiny little 1% improvements that you can make every single day, that aligned action that will bring you closer to what you're trying to manifest. Doing that every single day is going to lead you exactly to where you want to go, okay? There are very, very helpful people around you. And we have yang energy, which is masculine energy. Actions, little actions will create a positive outcome here. Absolutely. Aligned action. Sitting around and hoping and praying for what you're asking for is not going to do anything for you. I'm just being honest. What will do stuff for you is making little changes, little actions each and every day that brings you closer to your desired outcome. 
Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Wow. Very positive. Yes, answer. We have the king of coins in reverse, which again goes to prosperity. I feel for a lot of you, you may, might not be exactly where you want to be at when it comes to how much money you have or the materialistic things that you have in your possession. You may be wanting higher levels of stability, success, and financial well-being. I'm also seeing health. Some of you may have asked about your health or the health of someone else. And again, it's those little tiny actions that make all of the difference. If you're asking like, will I lose like 10 pounds of body fat? The answer is yes, you absolutely can. But it's in these little actionable things that you do. Like maybe one day you decide, you know what? I'm going to only drink water and unsweetened beverages, you know, nothing with added sugars, nothing with calories. I don't want to drink my calories. And you make that change that day. That's the 1% improvement that you make. And then maybe the next day you're like, you know what, I'm going to go for these little walks, you know, 15, 20 minute walks every day after dinner helps regulate your insulin levels, things like that. And that again is another 1% change. And it's, it's through these little tiny changes that you reach your goal, you know, And that's just one example out of many different questions that you guys asked, but it's through these little changes that you will get there. So keep going, keep making these changes. We have the devil coming out. There is temptation around you. There is temptation to fall back into negative patterns, behaviors, addictions, things of that nature. Temptation to take on a hopeless attitude, like, oh, this will never work. Or there could even be temptation, like, I should have been further along than... I am now temptation of like, oh, this is never going to work. And you really need to release those thoughts. Oh, I just yawned for some reason. I never yawn during readings. I don't know why I just did it. I feel like a release of energy from you guys. Releasing those thoughts. Exactly. Releasing those thoughts. We have the king of swords coming out in reverse. You know, I take this as the people in our lives who tell us, you can't do that. Yeah, good luck doing that, honey, sweetheart. When are you going to get a real job? When are you, I don't know, (laughs) fill in the blank. We've all met people like this. And those people have an interesting spiritual purpose in our life because they're almost here to agitate us and anger us so much that it's like a fuel They have a lot of fire energy, people like that. And they give us some of that fire energy, some of that fuel, some of that anger. Like, how dare you? i got to prove you wrong now. And that actually propels us towards our our dreams. And obviously, they don't do this consciously. Obviously, they're not good people. Or they are good people who are thinking they're saying the right thing, but they're not. Here I am yawning again. Oh, man. What is it with your reading? I'm not even tired. I feel like, again, it's a release. Letting go of that. Letting go of the naysayers Mm, and proving them wrong. We have the four of coins coming out in reverse, which talks about holding on. And that with the devil here, wanting to hold on very, very tightly to what you have, to what you're used to. Don't be afraid to expand into the unknown. Try new things. And if they don't work out, you can pivot very quickly. You know, try the new ideas that you have. If they aren't successful, Okay, get get rid of them. Go back to what was working. You know, that's all we can do in life. But when we stay stuck in our comfort zone and only do what has worked for us thus far, whether it's good or bad for us, we stay the same. So you're being asked to allow yourself to explore the various ideas and, and methods of doing things. And whatever works, add it to your toolbox. Whatever doesn't work, quickly release it, let go of it, you know. With this coming out next to the King of Swords in reverse as well, this is a little bit more complicated, but I feel for some of you, there may be someone in your life that doesn't make you feel good about yourself. 
they make you doubt yourself or make you feel not important, even if it's just not important to them. These are the types of people you have to release, you have to let go of, absolutely. These tarot cards are really showing a story of like the the selfish naysayers in her life. We we need to let go of them because, you know, they just don't add any value to our lives. And not only that, but people like that tend to drain our vital essence. They drain our energy. And when our energy is being drained, that energy is not being directed towards the manifestations we have in mind for ourselves, our dreams, our well-being. So there is another element here of releasing that, releasing any people like that. I see you're going to do that within the next few weeks. I'm seeing in the next few months, day by day, you're taking like 1% actions, 1% improvements, integrating new ideas, and, and you will reach your goals. You know, I'm seeing a yes answer for whatever you asked about, but in the best way possible. Okay, now if you asked a question where you don't want the answer yes, that would be very interesting. <laughs> I would ask myself, hmm, is there a reason why I received that yes answer. You know, could there be something better for me? Could there be something more liberating? Something that serves me well? Mm. Also, with these kings coming out in reverse, this is masculine energy that is not empowered. Okay? King of coins in reverse is somebody who just doesn't change. Very slow to change. Complains a lot. King of swords in reverse. This is somebody who likes to pretend like you're not a big deal in their life, very nonchalant. You know, not a good energy to keep around, guys. So somebody needs to hear that as well. And then with the four of coins, you're hanging on to that comfort, hanging on to that comfort with the devil. They're not really serving you anything good. There could be good chemistry that you guys share, sexual chemistry or conversational chemistry, but it's not really worth it, you know? And... Um, once you release and let go of anyone like that or any influence like that, I see so much prosperity opening up for you. A lot of your dreams actually begin to unfold because you, you then get into a period of just, just focusing on you, you know, pouring energy into the things that you want to develop. And, you know, it's funny. I actually just watched an interview <laughs> with um, 50 Cent, Dr. Dre, and Snoop Dogg. I think it was... a uh, not Jimmy Kimmel, the other one, <laughs> the other Jimmy, whatever. And um, yeah, 50 Cent was saying that he was like abstinent. And he, his mindset is like, yeah, when, when dudes are in prison, they're just abstinent. They're just working out, you know, keeping their head down, whatever. Like he wants to recreate that. And I don't know why I'm sharing this with you. I feel like a lot of you may be going through something similar where it's like, yeah, you're releasing the distractions. You're releasing the excuses the people in your life that don't make you feel good and you're just keeping your head down and working on your goals your dreams your aspirations that's what i'm seeing for you guys and it will lead to vast amounts of wealth financial wealth and success within the next few months that's not a long time at all and it'll develop in that time so beautiful thank you guys for joining me if you feel comfortable let me know what your question was down below subscribe like this video and if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Hello, group number five, and welcome. Let's get the answer to your question. So the rune that came out for you is called Suilo, and this is the rune of the sun. Very beautiful. If any of you asked about any legal things, paperwork, um, will this application get accepted? Will this go through? The answer is yes. Absolutely. I feel like there is a positive outcome when it comes to anything involving legal stuff, documents, paperwork, applications, very, very positive answer there, okay? Acceptances into something, passing any tests. I feel like if, if your question related to that, the answer is yes, like there's a positive outcome here, absolutely. We have, yeah, remain positive, exactly, positive outcome is in the forecast. And I'm, I don't know why I'm seeing like the first try. It only takes one shot. You know, the first time you do it, you get accepted, you get approved, or it happens. You know, if you're asking, like, will I pass my driver's test? Yes, and you'll get it on the first shot. I don't know what that's like. I, it took me three times to get my driver's license. We have compromise. Yeah, and again, this is that legal energy with the scales of justice here. Yes, there's a win-win. 
um, situation here. All parties will be pleased. Um, this could be like a settlement. This could be a good ag arrangement, agreement, like, okay, this works for everyone involved. That type of deal. Big happy changes. Oh my gosh, guys. This is a really, really positive reading. You're absolutely getting like the best outcome possible. You might even get a better outcome than you can even imagine. Like maybe you were hoping for, I mean, not hoping, but maybe you were thinking like, okay, I'll probably get this. Like this will probably be the outcome, but it's like, no, you actually get a much better result than you think that you'll get. And you'll be much happier. You're going to be very, very pleased is what I'm seeing. Overall, I feel like it's a yes answer. But uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, wait, we're going to start with this card. We have poised, yes, poised, focused, ready to kill, ready to kill it, ready to just absolutely succeed. So beautiful with the number 48. We're going to read this from the booklet and see what the message is here, if I can find it. <laughs> you can be assured that you are ready for anything right now. You know that what you need you know what you need to do. Your skills are sharp. You've come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge. And you sense that a new phase in your life is about to begin. I feel for a lot of you, like, you must have asked, like, will I graduate? Will I pass this class? Will I get accepted? Will I, you know, fill in the blank? It's like, yes, you've prepared for this. Absolutely. And you have all the knowledge, everything you need to know, you've got, you're ready. You are ready. If any of you asked question, like, am I ready for this? Whatever this is, the answer is also yes, 100%. There is a sense that there is a new phase of your life about to begin. And we have the big happy changes card here. So yeah, whatever this answer is, once you receive this answer, this change, it will put you into a, a new chapter in your life. People respond to your confidence and trust you. This is an auspicious time to begin new things. Yeah, if any of you ask, like, should I begin this? Should I start this business? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. You are poised. You are ready. You are in the prime position for success right now. Mm. We have five of coins in reverse. Why am I kind of picking up that you're being a little too hard on yourself? You know, I, I feel like you having high standards for yourself is what positioned you into a place of great strength and wisdom and has turned you into somebody who is really sharp and really on it, you know? However, sometimes it can become excessive, you know, stop judging yourself so harshly, stop underestimating yourself, like, you are good, you're good, we have the eight of coins in reverse, okay, so whatever you're asking about, it feels like there's been a lot of tedious energy surrounding it, like, a lot of prepping, a lot of studying, a lot of paperwork, a lot of you know, gathering of documents, making sure you're doing everything exactly right. You know, it, it really does feel like that. And I feel like it, it is moving forward positively for you. You know, you're coming out of this tedious phase where you're sort of like doing the same thing over and over and over again, studying and studying and studying. Like the, te the final test is here and you're going to pass it. You know what I mean? Or if you've been working and working and working on a project for a long time, it's like during the process of, of being in that tedious energy, you've become the person who stands at the vibration of success, success in what you're trying to accomplish, success in what you're trying to achieve. You're poised and ready to take this. Another thing that I'm seeing here, this is going to be a very specific message for some of you, but some of you are primed and ready to be in a leadership position, to help guide others, to be a teacher to others to spread your wisdom you're ready you're at a point in your life where you're ready to become the instructor you're ready to help guide other people through this journey that you've been through yourself to teach other people what you know you're absolutely ready we have the knight of wands coming out upright very passionate energetic beautiful forward movements and it's just overall excitement. There's excitement in the air. There's a new journey, a new chapter opening up for you. And I'm seeing a lot of creative inspiration, creative ideas that come to mind. Like, okay, once I pass this test or once I 
complete this. Think of all the things I could do. You know, here it's like you're creating a mental list of all the things you want to do after you achieve something is what it feels like. So like, let's just say you are married and you're trying to get like a green card for your spouse. And it's like, you're, you're coming up with a mental list of things you want to do. Once they get that green card, once they can come back to the country, it's like, we're going to go to the beach. We're going to go do this. We're going to go do that. We're going to go on like a second honeymoon. We're going to renew our vows, like blah, blah, blah. Like there, there's a whole list of things that you want to do in your head. Or I'm also picking up the energy of someone here who's going to be a teacher, like a literal teacher. And you're wondering like, will I pass or will I get a job as a teacher? Yes, you will. And you're already sort of planning out like, this is how I'm going to make my classroom look. This is how I'm going to come up with lesson plans. And you're just very excited about the, the next step. Or you may be asking like, will I be able to afford a house? Will I buy a house? And the answer is yes. And you're already coming up with like, okay, this is what I want the living room to look like. This is how I want to decorate my bedroom, you know? You're already, and I just saw three, three, three on the clock. The number three, especially when it's repeating like that, is such a creative number. And it talks about creative expansion. It's very in alignment with the Knight of Wands energy, actually. Very much like passionate, creative, expanding, growing, new chapter energy. I love it. I love this reading for you. Yeah. Like you're, you're already getting ahead of yourself, I guess you could say. But this will happen. It will be successful. We have the king of coins in reverse. I don't know why this card came out for a lot of groups in this reading. Mm. Keep taking action. Keep taking actions towards all of this is what I want to say. And, you know, the king of coins, especially when it's in reverse, this could be somebody who's older than you or in a position of authority over you who's very grumpy. Or they like to make it seem like, oh, this is going to be really hard. This is going to be really tough. Like, are you, like, they'd like to make you question yourself. And you know what? They're a loser. Okay. Like you'll, you'll do just fine. You know, sometimes people get off on that. Like they did something hard. And so when they're training or teaching or managing over people who are doing the same thing that they did, they're like, oh, now it's so difficult. It's so hard. Cause you know, only, only the strongest can survive this because, you know, when they say those things, it makes them feel strong. Like, oh, I survived this. I went through this and I'm, I'm strong. I'm in this position of authority. Don't listen to the people who are like that. You know, they're just getting a hit of ego off of you. Okay. You're going to do just fine. Everything's going to be great. And if somebody's acting here, like, it's, oh, it's not going to work. Or like being pessimistic or trying to even like threaten you like, oh, you can't possibly do that or you know don't get ahead of yourself now like you know those people like the fear mongers like you have something exciting going on in your life and they come up with every single reason why you shouldn't do that or like why you shouldn't relax into the comfort of this happiness you know don't listen to them really happy beautiful things are on the horizon okay so keep doing what you're doing thank you guys so much for joining me if you feel like sharing what you asked about uh, in the comment section. I would love to read it. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe if you have not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there, so check it out. Bye-bye.